<laughs> what? What's the side you land? Is it uh, actually stuck into the hose? Um. Yep. Yes, it is. Sure sounds like it. So we got some redneck diamonds. Uh, <laughs> we uh, we drove through a bad neighborhood and. Um, Betty in Kentucky. We're uh, on my friend's property that he bought last year. And we're just, uh, we're going for a little private property woods cruise. I don't think I've taken Betty off road properly in this configuration, at least I can remember. Or at least I haven't made a proper video. Oh, <laughs> there's some something, something there. I think my friend went this way. Yeah. Gasser, push that shit. Outside. Just push it. Lean forward. That's such an awesome. There it is. I'm just I'm going forward. Go it. You gotta go forward now.
Aren't you glad I told you to put those boots on? Huh? <laughs> Aren't you glad I told you to put those boots on? Yeah, I definitely. Yeah. How deep is this? Uh, probably about six inches of water. At the deepest. Be oh, good. Shit. Okay, maybe a little bit more than six inches, but that's what uh, I tell all the girls. You want to grab that um, one? <laughs> yeah. It's really nice to be able to finally bring that truck to an area where you can goof around a little bit and not have someone go, oh, look, you're having fun. Oh, you got your sticker? Your OHV sticker? Oh, fuck no. I don't need one here. Dev Skippy. You guys see I can't I've got sunlight just beaming right on the freaking the, the deal here but uh, anyways I am down here in Kentucky with visiting my friend uh, Jordan here and this is where Betty my uh, original truck build now lives this truck I sold to him last year and um, it's been about a year since I've sold it and right now it needs a few things, uh, just some oddball stuff. One thing I've already fixed, um, the uh, headlight relays for the upgrade kit I put in here. They were getting old and somehow they slipped their way down and poked out through a hole that uh, is in the uh, inner fender liner. Uh, and they, they just got hammered on uh, coming out here and, and also just, you know, this property was bare land when he got here. And, um, this truck is the only thing that can get around up here and all the mud and everything just kind of kind of trash those relays so we replaced those when we went to Ohio yesterday I went up there to visit my uh, uncle and uh, aunt and hang out with them for the weekend and then but yeah so we stopped by Summit Racing and got a couple of, we got a whole relay kit or a headlight kit and it came with the relays that we needed nobody else even someone didn't have the actual replacement really, so we just bought a kit and got what we needed. So that was a quick, easy fix. Um, but anyways, um, one of the things we were going to put on this thing, if you can see right here, is a onboard air kit that was going to go on before I bought it. But um, I, I was in between jobs, and part of the reason why I sold it is I needed the money. So that didn't happen, but now it's going to happen. He's going to have an onboard air kit, and then he's going to have... Um, a, uh, I, I sent him off with a bolt horn that was going to go on this truck. Uh, so I sent him off with that and we're going to get that hooked up hopefully before I leave back to Oregon. Um, the other thing is uh, this truck, it got shot at. Um, I don't know where, I didn't ask. You know, some people put the fake bullet holes on their cars. We got the real McCoy here. Look at that one. Don't, yeah, don't catch your finger on that. We got one right here. We got some exit wounds. We got one got stopped here. Hopefully this window regulator isn't messed up. I haven't messed with any of them. Let's see, where else? We still got cap corners. I, got, I have black duct tape on that and that's held up half decent. Oh yeah, right through in here. That still has, still has a bolt hole in there. We got a little dingle right there. One there, one there, yeah. And there's a hole on the other side of the canopy. And took out the wing window. Of course, the that window is blown out. Thankfully, didn't get the important uh, important stuff here. Caught the window. Didn't break that wing window. That's more important. Or who cares? You know, who cares about the passenger side? We got a dingus right here. The mirror suffered a, suffered a little bit. You know, we got, yeah, we got that. We got that. Good thing he wasn't in the truck, man. It would have gone through right here. That would have gone through his, uh, the middle of his uh, stomach area. I think that's it for this door as far as damage goes. Of course, took the the window out um, yeah it just kind of sucks 
So he's gonna have to have the window replaced, all the other stuff, I don't know if we're gonna fix that. But this truck, you know, I, I started kind of turning it into a wheeler, so it, you know, it's pretty much a farm truck, country truck. It's, you know, already not perfect. This cab corner's been, both of them have been blowing out for the last few years, and, and uh, yeah, so. Everything else is in, oh, you know, decent shape. She's doing fine. We just drove it to Ohio and back, and it, it did pretty well. The only annoying thing that we gotta deal with, I've gotta unbolt this canopy. This thing's been sliding forward somehow. So I'm gonna unbolt the thing and, and move it back, because this is supposed to be right here. Um, he hasn't hit anything with it, but I've noticed this gap was bigger before we left for Ohio. So I think from the heat, the vibrations of the road and like the engine and stuff, and the fact that this truck does have a rake, um, is somehow sliding down. So we might actually, uh, when I move it back and reclamp it, we might go into the hardware store and get some nuts and bolts and just bolt it in rather than have the clamps because I don't think he's ever going to take the canopy off this. Now, the canopy has been a very useful thing on this truck, so it'll stay. Um, other than that, nothing much has changed. We are eventually going to get some off-road bumpers on it. This one got, got bumped into. But, you know, dents like that one, this one, I think probably that one, and there's one on the tailgate, this dent. this were me. I drove this thing down a mountain road with, uh, when I had BFGs on here, I had a tire blowout and I drove it all the way down the mountain in three wheel drive. After getting out of a mud hole, I, I put this truck through an absolute ringer. So what I'm getting at is this truck was built to work, have fun and, and get around. So it it does get beat up a little bit and you know it has taken every little bit of it and the engine that I rebuilt about four years ago Still runs absolutely fantastic. Uh, we were getting 21 miles to the gallon going to Warren, Ohio uh, over the weekend, and we got the same mileage coming back. So it was, it's fantastic. I think we were doing about 65 tops. I didn't really want to push it too much. I wanted to try and maximize the fuel economy, and you know, she's sitting up pretty high. I need to do a tire rotation. Um, this tire here is getting a little cupped. I'm not sure if it needs to maybe come out a tiny bit, but it does need a tire rotation. They're nice and smooth back here. I don't know, we might go get a get a floor jack and swap those tires around. I'd like to get that done before I leave because I'm not gonna be back out here for a while. Yeah, I put those rear tires up front. This one's not too bad, it's not, not cupping, but I think that one, it might be towed in a little bit. When I built the steering for it, I never, I never did the alignment on it. I just eyeballed it myself and drove it until it was good. So yeah, we got to put new windows in this thing. I've got a new mirror. Um, so yeah, we'll get that swapped out. Let's let's do the mirror. It's the easiest, I think. I don't care if that bolt breaks. The new mirror has a new thing. I'm actually going to switch into a different shirt. I'm wearing a black freaking shirt, so I'm going to get a different shirt. So if you watched the last two live videos, I kind of went over what I was doing with the driver's side door. 
Uh, we got the some of the old glass out or the track. Got that cleared out, and I went ahead and got the window put in, and then I filled that track with the glue I said I was going to use in the live stream, and uh, cranked it up, and then I've got it all the way up into the upper window seal, and then the track has just a little bit of pressure on the uh, window, and the window has got a thin film of glue underneath it, it's not quite touching the the metal uh, bracket or track that it sits in so that is doing its thing it's curing and let me tell you I'm that window in there that was kind of nice uh, I just had to drive to Walmart and advance auto parts to get a couple things um, I went ahead and since we put a new mirror on that side and because it looks so much better than what was on here and they're not scratched up hey shut up it's like noon. Um, I snagged another one from Advanced Auto Parts, and they only stock like one. So I got one from an Advanced Auto Parts up the way from here, and then uh, by the Walmart, there just happened to be one. So I went and snagged the same mirror. They're universal, so that you can go on either side. So I'm going to put the other one here. And uh, I also picked up some new door speakers for this because. And I'm going to talk a little shit. My friend here, for whatever reason, took the JBLs out and had some focals put in or whatever from another rig. I don't know why. They're blown out. So, we got some Sonys. We got went over to the old Walmart and picked up some Sonys. When I say we, I mean I did. So, five and a quarter throw some Sonys in there. It's got two JL subs in the back and a custom box so all you get is bass and highs with what's in here now. It's like not good. So I'll get the Sonys in here and we'll be back to back to normal. Um, and then what else did I get? Uh, the LED light I put in the dome, that thing is old and going out so I picked up some new ones. Uh, we'll get out of here. What else did I grab? Got some solder. Soldering iron, a uh, heat gun that I'm more than likely going to bring back with me. I might leave it here. I don't know. Probably take it with me. What else do I got? I got some speaker wire, cute little and electrical tape, and a cute little thing of heat shrink. And then we got a mirror. The only other thing I got to we need to replace in here is the cup holder. It's really old, and be, I think before I let it go, I accidentally broke the the um, the one cup holder. So we need to find another one of those, get that replaced, and you know this truck will be well off uh, until I come back again. Aside from rotating the tires, that needs to happen, but. I'll just have him take it to a tire shop and just be like, rotate them, make sure the pressure's at 30 PSI and good to go. We gotta deal with this wing window though. Um, I don't know what we're gonna do. We could dig that all out and get a, you know, equivalent size piece of uh, plexiglass, glue it, set it in, and then, you know, that'll take care of that. Um, these wing windows are pretty, pretty kind of hard to get, and, and if you can't get them, they're expensive. I think LMC Truck sells them, but I think it was like 400 bucks or something for them. I'm not going to do that. Um, but what I am going to do uh, in, on this camera, I'm not going to do any more live videos. I wanted to get a couple. I wanted to try out the laptop uh, that I got. So uh, that worked out pretty good. But uh, what we'll do is on this on camera here, we'll get this door panel pulled off. We'll get the old track out of there, and we'll dig all that stuff out. And then uh, once that's done, uh, we'll put the we'll get the glass in. Luckily, this window track holds the glass in pretty good, especially when you get it up into here. And in case it wants to fall, I put a piece of foam down in there so it has foam to land on. But anyways, we'll get that glass in there. And then uh, 
Uh, once that's in and we have glue in the track, we can put the track up in there on the regulator and then just roll it up until it sets up and then let it cure for 24 hours. I need to get one of these. This is great. This thing's been cold since yesterday. Whoever took this door panel off, they didn't bother putting the uh, push pins back where they need to be. I, you know, he spent a lot of money to have this sound system put in here and they kind of did a shoddy job of putting the door panels on. I mean, probably just car toys. As far as patching the bullet holes, um, we're not, we're probably not gonna, probably not gonna do that. Ugh. This stuff is. stuff is on there. Okay. Dig my hand into the saw here. So in the live video, what I did is I would pry this open a little bit with the screwdriver and then just knock it through with the screwdriver and then this would come out and then we'll just blow it out and then we'll fill it up with some glue um, but I do the glue part after I get the glass into the door and we'll do that in a moment of course that bee is still hanging around in that area I'm gonna go see if they got some spray I might knock that guy down Kind of a tough screwdriver there. So first we gotta take this trim out. Man, we should have ordered some new ones. These don't these new ones, they don't last very long. These are probably a couple years old and it's looking like a like it's from 1995. So now we'll undo this, uh, what are we, 11 millimeter? Yeah, we'll undo this screw here and then we have two screws up here we need to undo. And that'll let us kind of move the wing window around. What I ended up doing is bringing it down over, out, and then just let it do this way. That way when you get the glass up in here, you can kind of use the, we gotta get the, the glass into into the track and we will have to take the weather strip out that have never been taken off they've been in here since 1982 42 years and use a good screwdriver too or at least one that fits now be careful, there might still be some glass here. It's going to come out of the track. It's going to come out of the window felt here. Get all those redneck diamonds out of there. We're breaking the cherry on this window. So just like that. And then you let her sit out like that. This can kind of go back in here and dangle. 
We'll roll the window. We'll roll the regulator all the way down. This is what I was using earlier. You can just stick that down in there. Get the regulator up a little bit, and then the glass will sit on that foam. These, uh, this glass only goes in one way. And you can actually take the glass and shove it all the way up there. Actually, before you put the felt on, the felt can stay out here, and then get this wing window in here. So, actually, this, I was, I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm so excited to put the glass in. You got the glass down on the phone. Pull that out a little bit. And get your glass in the wing window track. Don't touch the broken glass. Why is this side fighting me? get that in there and then your glass is captured on the, the uh, seal here and then what I do put that back in there also get you some WD-40 and just spray along that track and then spray it on the seal in here and grab the glass bring it up and then as the glass comes down you try to push the seal down you're just feeding it in it's kind of like if you've got to run like some kind of cable through a conduit might get to a point where it doesn't want to go in real nice so we can just run this up and then you'll get to a point where you can grab the seal down here and then what you do is at, when you have the tail of the seal, you pull down as you roll the window down. Bring the window up, pull down. Bring the window down some more. You can let that set on our phone. We can maybe pull that up a little bit. Over glass. Now, doing this, having the track loose or the wing window loose, is it allows you to pull this in a little bit, and then once you tighten it down, it makes it so that the window moves a lot freer. Um, and then doing this by hand, you're able to feel how much resistance you got. Right now, it feels pretty good. What I did here is I just literally went 
down the line here. Now that we got some white stuff in there, we'll go set it up in the glass. We'll set this, the regulator in here, set this on the glass, and then just slowly press it in and the glue is gonna ooze out. And what I'm looking for is the glass to just be like a couple fingernails width off of the metal and should be good to go. It may just be that it's that easy or I'm just like uh, kind of crazy and know how to fix this stuff. That ought to be good. And I just use the Rindo regulator to help push on that. And it's so warm out here right now that this glue is kind of getting, a, starting to get a little runny, which is perfect. And another thing I like to do is when I Tighten these up, it pulls the wing window in. I'll go ahead and loosen this up. That'll let it relax. And let me just tighten that down. Good deal. Make sure it's in all the way. And it somehow comes apart. It's best to use the factory hardware if you can. Uh, that way, um, uh, but it won't come apart. Because if you just use a bolt and a washer on the uh, freaking countersunk part of the uh, frame there, it's gonna come loose. See that? The factory screw just threaded right in. I'm not worried about the left or right position of it because it will rotate on a on a pivot. And we'll just Yeah, so you can move wherever you want now. Look at that. Oh, Betty's got two new mirrors. Yeah, we just need to, I'm, I think we're gonna get some plexiglass and uh, make a piece fit in there. So we got new glass there. New mirror there. Yeah, the new mirrors are nice. Cool. Oh, great, I get to lay on gravel. Oh, it feels great. Absolutely fantastic. I was going to get a grease gun for this, but uh, I already, already got a few dollars into this thing. I, my friend pretty much paid for my whole trip up to uh, Ohio there, so I don't mind doing this. Plus, I love this truck. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's thick oil. She's, she's due. Can you guys see that? It probably looks like it's clear. Yeah, this old girl did really, really good going up to Ohio. Might be baked on, but it's turning. No way. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. We got her. I need a Sharpie. I'm going to write the date on this thing.
you ever be tightening a hydraulic fitting and then you think you got it and you do one turn it clicks and then pops away from the what you're mounting it to that is the most frustrating thing ever um, when you do this with these containers uh, make sure you uh, open them up and tap them out because they have shavings in them ask me how i know we have two and a half gallons in here so i think we'll do we'll pour most of it in you know, I, I forgot how tall this truck is because, you know, when I work on my 85, you know, it's a stock ride height and it is very easy to work on this one. I need a stool and guess what my friend doesn't have, or at least that I'm aware of. All right, here we go. You guys ever change the oil on your rig and then immediately feel like it runs better? Uh, like even my dad uh, says the same thing to me. He's like, you know, I feel like I feel like the car's running better, Jim. And I'm like, oh, I think it is too. I don't know if it's just a placebo thing or, or what. Where are we sitting on oil here? We're almost full. I always go a little bit over the, the fill mark there. I could almost just put this whole thing in there.
that's the end of my trip here. I'm flying back to Oregon tomorrow morning. And uh, we got a lot accomplished with uh, old Betty here. Just got some things fixed, a couple boo-boos. We got new windows in. Um, I didn't get to the wing window, um, but that's fine. The main windows are in. He's gonna have a uh, safe light replace the windshield. Um, so yeah, that's fantastic. But with that, I have nothing else to add. I will be coming out again. And uh, who knows, maybe forever. Well, I'm not taking the truck home. Guess I'm walking. Oh wait, I've got a plane to catch.